Hello and welcome to a new charter number 27 of Azure Support Academy. In this Hanover Labs about performance, we are going to talk about in this episode number one about the activity monitor in my SQL Manage instance. My name is Jose Manuel Jurado. I am a Scalation engineer in working in Microsoft and subject matter expert in this technology. Well, so before going to the, to the demo, let's try to review what is the main characteristics about a uh, managed instance. Well, the 99% of the features that we have available right now on premises, we have in, in managed instance. Um, it's very important to review this link about uh, comparing options uh, in the database engine with on-premises and, and a managed instance. How is possible to monitor a managed instance? Well, we have many, many options. Also, using the tools that we have in um, in SQL and SQL Server Management Studio. But basically, we have Azure Portal, Azure Monitor, Log Analytics, SQL Profiler, because Deprecated is not the best option to use, but you could use this one. Uh, you could have access to an events profiler. Uh, you have your M request, query at a store, and use the queries that we are going to provide in this demo. What are the best practices? Well, in the end, as always, we have in you know, on premises, update the statistics, rebuild the indexes. Uh, also use uh, the power cell that we have in this lesson learned number 195 about performance best practice. And also I would like to recommend to review um, a very good articles and uh, scripts that we have for uh, our colleague in Microsoft, Dimitri Furman, about code examples for uh, to use um, in Azure SQL Managed Instance in order to capture, for example, uh, latency in the storage, etc. In a similar manner that we did in previous sessions, uh, my SQL, Azure SQL Managed Instance configuration is the following. I have a managed instance with several databases. We have four B core. My storage sites is uh, in general purpose. Uh, we have in the storage site 576 uh, gigabytes of data. It's very important when we are talking about general purpose and business critical uh, in managed instance or in SQL DB, remember that the latency is less in, man in business critical general purpose, okay? I don't have right now any um, resource governor, okay? Uh, so right now all the databases could use all the resources and the databases are part of this demo. Uh, right now is the uh, uh, GM Jurado test DB1, 2 and 3. Well, uh, right now uh, I'm going to use the same tool that we developed uh, previously. Basically, right now, as we mentioned, uh, I'm going to run a test with a mix of operations, CPU, bulk insert, log IO, then DB, in order to run or to try to simulate a um, uh, workload process, a normal workload process that we have in our databases, right? So uh, I'm going to run the, the application right now. <coughs> And as you can see here, right now I use uh, 32 uh, threads. Uh, my query time now is uh, 16,000 uh, uh, seconds. Uh, right now, as I mentioned, I'm going to run several uh, several process uh, and combine of this and will be managed instance. So uh, right now, uh, uh, my managed instance, it's uh, as we mentioned, we have three databases. The connection is correctly. I'm going to click right now. Okay. So right now, as you can see here, I'm going to run 32 uh, threads. That every of uh, these threads is going to run a process. One is uh, a CPU. Another one uh, for the database two, a bulk insert for the database three, log IO one, the DB etc. So right now we have, let's say, more or less, uh, we are simulating uh, right now a um, uh, workload uh, for different operations uh, in this database. So let's try to 
run the process. The queries is running right now. As you can see here, every thread is doing one operations. It's running, one second, it's running, no, uh, cancel, sorry. I'm going to stop, sorry, I, I modified something. So right now, one second is here. Yeah, it's running uh, these operations. Uh, as we mentioned, it's running multiple operations, lockout, NDV, etc. Uh, uh, for example, uh, right now, uh, if I run my um, uh, SQL, uh, uh, my SQL. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, SQL commands, as we mentioned previously, uh, if I run this query uh, uh, in order to obtain all the requests, etc., as you can see here, right now, uh, we have several processes that is running. We have right now the command, the database, the, the application, one of them is using high CPU, another 10 dB, etc., session, CPU, Process that is running, runnable or suspended. Uh, the main way to start, for example, CPU, uh, waiting for PA latch, PO latch in terms of storage. We have the total lapse time. Uh, we have a total schedule, logical reads, right? Is, is blocking for something. As you can see, time to time is increasing this value because right now it's running more process uh, at the same time. And right now, as you can see here, uh, we have many other uh, weighted stats like preempted HTTP requests, write log, etc. So right now, I'm monitoring the process that I have. Okay, and as as I mentioned, I would like to show you uh, one example that I downloaded from my colleague Dimitri. Basically, uh, this uh, this uh, script. It's a script in order to uh, review what is uh, the latency that you have in your general purpose storage. So I'm going to run right now. Most probably we, we have to wait at, uh, around 30, 30 seconds, okay, in order to obtain uh, the, 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 the result. So in meanwhile, uh, as you can see here, it's increasing, it's, it's running in multiple threads at the same time. The application right now, for example, uh, uh, we have the, the, the numbers uh, in, the, in this process. Um, uh, we have right now also we have blocking issues uh, because uh, this session, uh, right now the session number uh, 108 is blocking by the session 107. So if we run again, most probably we are going to obtain uh, several informations uh, uh, about uh, about it. So let's move to uh, to the reports that we have from Dimitri. Uh, as you could see here right now, uh, for my uh, for my database, uh, it's very important because right now this is the file size of my database. This is the blob uh, site storage that I have. This is the limit of the storage. As you can see here, I'm reaching, more or less reaching per uh, log, um, per data, uh, the max IO. When we have this, we are going to uh, to have throttling because we are reaching the maximum IOPS in, in this part. There is no need to run this script when you are using business critical because in this case, uh, the storage is a local storage and the latency in this case is less. But right now, as a remote storage, as you could see here, uh, how is the the, the, the maximum uh, uh, that we have right now? This is the mass throughput that we have megabytes per second. And I would like, if we are able to um, to review, for example, let me. No, it seems that we are not there. Give me one second. In order to if we yes uh, yes we got it. Uh, right now, as you can see here, right now we are reaching the maximum throughput in the load rate governor. That means that for the amount of process that we have, we are not able to reach more in terms of bandwidth in, tem uh, in, in terms of uh, in terms of instance, not database, in terms of uh, SQL, SQL instance. So for the reason if we run right now 
the, the application, the script from Dimitri, most probably we are going to see more latencies. Let's let's see if we are able to in, in this part. But and then the most important thing is right now we have this uh, this option uh, in order to 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 monitor uh, you that you you manage instance. If we use the portal, basically uh, in the portal we saw uh, the same information that uh, we have, but in this case we have some uh, available some uh, some metrics. Uh, right now we have uh, the CPU, and also we have others like uh, I/O uh, byte read, write, storage. Uh, for example, if uh, we uh, review, we saw that we are increasing the the, the storage or we are going to uh, the, the amount of uh, CPU that, in this case, if I remove this one, it basically is how it's, it's growing the, the CPU, okay? Other thing that, uh, that we could use, uh, it's the, the report that is, uh, that is included in, in SQL Managed Instance, for example, uh, running uh, standard reports, uh, sorry, uh, Yep, uh, we could use we could use um, several things. For example, let's try to click here in the reports in standard reports and use the performance dashboard in the similar manner that we have in SQL in SQL on premises. Uh, as you could see here, uh, we have some very useful information about uh, the system CPU. Uh, in the similar option that we have uh, right now in in, in SQL on premises, uh, we could click here by let's say to review the expensive queries, and uh, it's, right now it's very overloaded. Uh, database as we could see uh, the total execution, how much time is taking this process. As you could see here, that when this query is uh, it's, it's running, we could investigate what happened with these queries. Uh, also, uh, in terms of IO statistics, uh, we could see uh, the information that we have about all these uh, these details, about the number of uh, reads, writes, uh, etc. per database. So, we have many good uh, information uh, in order to uh, review what is uh, what happened in my in my managed instance, right? So, uh, we could review. Uh, other, uh, it's about logical uh, logical reads. Uh, as you can see here, it's natural that we have this because it's reading a, a huge amount of data and sending the data to the temp, uh, to the temp DB. Uh, I think that all the option that we have is, for example, use another reports uh, uh, right now uh, about, uh, for example, um, what I don't know. Um, let's say. Uh, uh, all transactions. Let's do it. So, in, in this information, we could see all the information that is running in my in my database. I don't know what is the reason that we have no data, but it's, it's very similar that much probably is we don't have right now any any data. So, and the end, the best way, uh, as you could see, we have many other options. Also, uh, one thing that I would like to mention is the standard profiler, a standard events profiler, for example, that you could launch. This is our profiler, and um, as you can see here right now, we are going to see uh, more or less the SQL profiler here, more or less in terms of uh, the executions that that we have uh, uh, that we have right now. It's, the system is totally overloaded uh, about about it. Um, let me stop if it could be possible the process. Okay, or perhaps we need to remove the filter. Okay, I'll filter. Yeah. So uh, as you can see here, is uh, this is the, the the operation that is happening in the, in the in the database with all the process, all the the situations, uh, my different application that is running, logical reads, the executions, uh, etc. So this is the information that you could see uh, running uh, your activity monitor. In your uh, in your SQL uh, managed instance. Uh, for your information, uh, you have here the 
the query to obtain all the queries that is running human assistance. Okay, thank you so much for attending these sessions. If you have any questions, please send an email to gmjurado at microsoft.com.